All right, it's that time of the year again. We're getting ready to put our nets in. Been doing a lot of sewing on them, getting them patched up. Uh, ripped some holes in some last year. Had some flues we wanted to change up. Uh, we're fixing to get them dipped today. 100% chance of rain today. But guess what? It's like 80% chance every day this week. So we can't wait on all that. We got a little break in the weather. So we're going to try to get them dipped. Let's see what we can do. We had about half a bucket left over from last year. We got a new bucket. That's what we're using. And uh, notice it is non-fibered, non-fibered coating. Foundation and roof coating, it's just tar. We got it at the local... Uh, Reed Lumber. Reed Lumber, local <laughs> lumber supply company here in North Louisiana. They carry it. They know it's a lot of net fishermen. Maybe roofers use this stuff too, I don't know. We got our gas. We're gonna thin it down with. I'm gonna stay upwind. That's what I talked about last year. The wind's kinda out of the south today. And uh I tell you it's going about half and half on the gas. Now what was left from last year is already thinned down a little bit. So we'll just put us a, a good bit of gas in this one. Stir it up, kind of see what it's looking like. Go ahead and add some in this one too. Get it all thinned down good. You don't want it too thick. It'll get a really thick, nasty coating on them nets. Got us a stirring stick here. That one already feels pretty close. You can see how that tar cakes up in the bottom of it though. So you gotta get all that loosened up, thinned down some. We'll have to put some more gas in there to get it all thin. This one's gonna be pretty thick. You can see how thick that stuff is. You gotta thin that down. You don't want that on your nets. We got our vat that we use. A lot of people said, why don't you use a swimming pool? Well, I don't know, I had that already. It was free. Um, so we use this. We just put it in there, scoop it up, pour it around on it. You can get them big nets in it, roll it around without getting a mess all over the thing. But those little kitty swimming pools do work perfect for this. A lot of guys use those. You just drop your net right down in it. Y'all gonna see today we got our old clothes on. We got just some old throwaway long sleeve shirts and pants on to try to keep this tar off of us. You can't hardly get this mess off of you if you get it on you. One of our old slats we cut out for our slat traps for stirring stick worked pretty good. try one kind of see I'll show you why we dipping them look get a close-up of this right here you can see this this where it's tied in all the string on the outside gets a lot of wear from fishing in the river so you want to you want to get that locked back in good and what I do like to do is try to keep these uh, tail lines headlines that we tie on to kind of out of that dip but we'll be able to rotate it like so. Get all of them hooks dipped good. Okay, right there. All right, we'll show y'all how we make our old dipper, redneck dipper. scooper so we can scoop it and pour it up on the net. About like so. I don't care what you do, you're going to get this stuff on you. You're just going to. I 
it, scoop it, toss it up on there, get it on the net real good. Mm -hmm. Mr. Loy shows up, but Chad's MIA. He ain't even MIA. He ain't help it. I always do find one when you go to dipping, don't you? Mm-hmm. The best is to patch it before you dip it because then you get that tar all over your hand. Yep. Also known as the one Bradley crawled inside of. <laughs> Spin it, get our hoops real good. It look a little different. Just tying them up. Show y'all knot I use all the time. That's a bowling right there. Make you a loop. Lay it over there. Through. Back through. Pull it down. That's a knot I use all the time. I ain't got no trees tall enough anymore, Mr. Lord. What? I ain't got no trees tall enough no more. Had to tie them all like this. It's alright, this will work too, won't it? That'd be alright, just like that. Let it hang down. What I'm gonna do? No, that's that one I just redid. That's that one I made the hooks in, the flue in. It'll catch.
Rain never hurt no one. Scared you're gonna melt. <laughs> Last one. The one we've been waiting on. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out where to put it. Don't overthink it. <laughs> I gotta go right here. Mr. Lloyd had to leave to go watch football. I feel the pain. He has to go watch football too because it's pouring down rain. And Chad is a no-show. Can't, can't hire no good help nowadays. Not at all. See it in about an hour. 11 nets dip. Hanging, ready to go.